When we look at COVID-19 and the COVID-19 pandemic, up to this point, there really haven't been any good preventive measures about severity. Now, we have measures to keep people from getting COVID-19, and those are masks and social distancing and washing your hands. But how do we keep the people who get infected from being the ones who get hospitalized or in the ICU? And right now, we don't have that. There has been some uh, interest in looking at flu vaccines and how it might affect COVID-19. We found that people who are up to date on their flu influenza vaccines are much less likely to end up being hospitalized. But the people who aren't up to date were almost two and a half times as likely to be hospitalized as those who were up to date. And that's after controlling for all the things that we know lead to people who are being um, having severe outcomes, like being obese, like age, um, like hypertension and diabetes. There actually is a pretty big uh, impact also on a more severe outcome, which is being in the ICU. The folks who are unvaccinated, not up to date on their flu vaccinations, are about a little more than three times as likely to be hospitalized a a with an ICU admission than those who aren't. The way we did this study, this wasn't a survey. Um, this was data that came from the electronic medical record um, at the University of Florida. So we had more than 2,000 patients. Everybody in the study was positive for COVID-19. And then we looked within their electronic medical record whether or not they were up to date on their influence vaccine, vaccination and what happened to them. Did they end up uh, being hospitalized? Did they end up in the ICU? This isn't a perfect study. The value of this sort of brief report, we have data really only from one health system. It's possible that, that things would look a little bit different if we had six, seven, 10 different health systems. We have a, a less broad, sort of uh, a net that we did for the influenza vaccinations, but we know for sure that they got it because it comes directly out of the electronic health record. If we can get people to be up to date on influenza vaccines, then we have a double win. So we have a win that basically can keep people from getting influenza, which as we know, that's a preventive measure to keep people from, from another thing that puts people in the hospital and can, can potentially kill them. But we've got the second win, which is it looks like it may have a benefit to keeping people with COVID-19 from ending up uh, being hospitalized.